Capricorn, welcome to 811 Moon. I'm Amy and this is your February 2021 reading. I'm doing it today. And let's see what you've got going on for February 2021. Capricorn. Whoa. Free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. What is holding you back, Capricorn? Let's see. Is this a love reading for Capricorn? Free yourself. Something going on. Sorry, guys. That's the kitten. She's going nuts. It's apparently playtime. It's apparently let's jump from piece of furniture to piece of furniture to piece of furniture. Whoa. Ten of Pentacles. Ding, 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 ding. Ten of Pentacles for you. Wow. Let's see. What else do we have going on? I mean, that's like the second best card. Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, best cards in the deck. Four of Cups. Let's see, what else do we have for Capricorn for love for February? Moving on. Hmm. So free yourself, Ten of Pentacles, and the Four and the Six. I feel like someone's moving on from relationships. I don't feel like it's necessarily just romantic, too. I think you guys are moving on from something. And then the Eight of Cups. Yeah, what did I just say? Moving on, walking away. Yeah, you guys... You're in an energy of change. You're in an energy of transformation. You're in an energy of like, bye bye Ooh. Ten of swords. Okay, let's see what else we got for Capricorn. Come on. 1010. I've been seeing 1010 a lot. I'm not, I'm not a, uh, well, I'm on a Quaricorn. I'm on the cusp of Capricorn. Uh, and then a two of pentacles here. Wow, you've got a, you've had some tough choices to make about people in your life, Capricorn. And I feel like if it's a love relationship, you've you've walked away or you feel like you need to walk away and you will be victorious uh, if you do. I feel like you've got a victory coming here. Um, if this is a friendship, because I, I feel like this can be um, a friendship energy too, because I'm kind of getting a message that maybe your friends have been doing things that um, aren't in alignment with you. And you feel as though you've been, I feel like you feel like you've been used. And you've had to make a choice. You've had to make this hard choice of what to do in this situation. Wow. Okay, let's see what else we got for you. Take it where it resonates and not all those messages will resonate with you. Yes, choice again. Not seeing everything. I feel like you saw things, but you let them go. I feel like you were seeing things about this relationship. You were seeing things about things happening and you were kind of like, ah, you know, it's all right. I'll figure it out or I'll, I'll do this, I'll do that. And, and the energy for you really is that you know you've been kind of betrayed or you've been stabbed in the back or you've been used and you need to move forward. And I feel like these came out together. I feel like this free yourself and then this ten of pentacles came out together because it was like if you do this if you free yourself from this situation or this person or this energy or whatever betrayal this was or whatever thing happened you're going to get this ten of pentacles you're going to be so much happier when you're out of that energy i feel like it's a very negative energy uh especially with this four the six the eight like you know what you have to do this 10 i mean this 10 is really sticking out to me and i i can feel um i feel um the pain that goes along with it. I feel like you just came into this realization, some of you, um, or will in February, or it's been niggling at you. It's been like in the back burner here, maybe for three or four months. And now it's like, bam, there's the 10 of swords. What else do we have to show you type thing? Uh, I just feel like there's a lot of betrayal, a lot of distrust, a lot of using happening here at Capricorn. And I'm sorry. I wish I had uh, a better yeah transformation you got scorpio energy here not that that matters um i think with this reading the transformation card coming out is just really uh apropos it's appropriate that we get the scorpio uh death card because i feel like this is a this is the death of your old ideals about this person your old how you felt how you ooh, how you felt how you perceived this person is changed but it's because you were burying some things though you were 
you were putting some things aside that were happening and you were like, that's all right, you know, it doesn't really apply to me. If this person does that, it doesn't affect me or whatever. And now it's to the point where you're just like, yeah, it's 2021. I'm not putting up with this BS anymore. I'm out. I feel like that's your energy. But it just took you a long time to make the decision with this to these two twos. Now, yeah, this is you now. You've got the Queen of Swords energy. You're like, I'm not sugarcoating anything anymore. I'm not trying to make excuses. I'm not doing anything anymore. I'm done. I'm out. See you later. Bye-bye. I've got Queen of Swords energy. Uh, this is also, um, I just want to mention this too. The Queen of Swords energy is also widow and widower energy. Um, if you have lost someone and then you're dealing with the people around you, uh, you're just not taking it anymore. You're just not taking anybody. I really feel like you're just not taking BS anymore. I really feel that energy. And when you free yourself and walk away, you've got this 10 and 6. This 10 of Pentacles and this... you got this 10 of Pentacles and you got this 6 of Wands energy, and it's amazing. You are walking away. You're going to be so happy when you do, too, I think. I think it's going to take time for you to find this 10 and 6. But, you know, that's with anything because you've got to go through kind of a grieving process. And I feel like that's why I kind of... You've got to go through a grieving process for things that have been done to you that have betrayed you. But any advice for Capricorn? Any advice? I feel like this is the message, and take it where it resonates. This is the message. Is there are other people in your life, Capricorn, that are loyal and are not using you and are not betraying you and that care about you and i feel as though the message here is for you to turn to those people turn to others that i feel like these people stood in their own truth they didn't um they didn't they didn't continue to follow the situation they they got out earlier i feel like they got out earlier than you or if that doesn't apply to you, that um, you have people around you that know you're in a tough position and are there to support you. That 10, 6, and 3, you've got people around you, you've got support, you've got your own victory coming, and you've got 10 of Pentacles energy. You're going to be just so much better off when you get out of this energy. The 8 of um, the eight of Swords came out for more advice. So I feel as though the reason you got this card, Capricorn, is because you have some self-limiting beliefs about yourself, that you can do it alone, that you can, and like I said, you can you have energy around you of people you can pull on, but I feel as though if this has to do with this relationship that you don't want to be alone or, you, or you're, you know, maybe I just want to stay in this cage a little longer because it's safe and I'm, I understand this cage and I understand this person and I've worked hard on this relationship and it's the devil you know versus the devil you don't know but you're really limiting yourself you're really holding yourself back by doing that uh, but obviously take it where it resonates for your situation and if this is a very severe situation always seek professional help and or the you know call the authorities if you're in a very severe situation but Capricorn this is what I'm seeing for you for February this is what I'm seeing and I just saw the Ace of Wands, too, when I was just opening the deck. And that means to me that you've got more new beginnings coming, more fresh energy coming, fiery energy, creative energy coming towards you that you're blocking it by staying, by allowing this, by allowing that Ten of Swords, by not making the choice, you know. But I feel like a lot of you are right there. You're like, done, been there, done that, got the postcard. All right, I'm going to pull one more. I don't know why I feel like I need to pull one more. Yeah, four of pentacles. This this is going to be a tough transition for you with this, but you know, we got the the 13, but but this four um I really feel like this is you holding your ground after this is all over. I feel like this person's going to come back and apologize, say they're sorry, give you all the lip service you want and be very cuz they know they just know they know they've taken taken advantage too long betrayed you too long did whatever too long and they're going to come back and they're going to be like oh I'm sorry you know I was doing this I was doing that and 
yes, we all have to be sensitive to everybody. We don't know what's going on exactly in everybody's life. We don't live, we don't walk in anybody's shoes and we don't live in behind anybody else's closed doors but our own. But you are going to be like, nope, thank you. And you're going to hold your ground. I feel like with him, with his feet on the pentacles, you holding these pentacles, you're like, nope, no, thank you. I, I, I feel like I see you saying, I forgive you, but you just don't want anything to do with this person anymore. I feel as though you are freeing yourself from um, someone who's really taken advantage of you for a long time. And that's what I'm seeing, Capricorn. I wish this was a lovey-dovey um, love reading for you, but this is what the cards are saying, and, and I'm, you know, I'm not sugarcoating anything. I apologize if that's what you expected when you clicked, but, you know, but what I am seeing that's the major thing is that you have this Ten of Pentacles and six Wands and Three. You have other resources. You have a victory coming. You have this Ten of Pentacles energy coming. You have this happiness coming. You just gotta, you just gotta go weed through it. You just have to go through these swords. You gotta weed through these swords to get to it. And I do see you walking away. Whether it's a love relationship, friendship, family member, or whatever, it's time. It's time to do whatever you need to do to get your Ten of Pentacles back. Capricorn, if you stayed to the end of this reading, please leave a heart down below. Also, I'd love, I, I see this is a very difficult energy here, and I would love for you, Capricorn, to come into one of my lives and type your question so I can try to pull some cards for your situation. Um, I pull uh, do mini readings on Sundays typically, but I might be switching that to Wednesday or Saturday. And I can pull a couple of cards for you and try to help you uh, with your situation because I am here to help. I hope this resonated with you, was helpful. Actually, I hope it doesn't resonate with a lot of people because it's just a, a tough energy to be in right now. But I wish you the best. I'm sending you hugs. I'm sending you blessings, love, and light. And I hope to see you in the next video, Capricorn. Bye-bye.